Before we leave Japan, let's check out another drift competition, run by Battle Magazine at YZ Circuit. Unlike the D1 series, this is a very casual event that any local drifter can enter. Since Gifu is one of the main drift areas in Japan, more than 100 cars entered this event, most drivers bringing all of their friends along as pit crew. The number one repair tool at an event like this is a hammer. You can use it to flare your guards. Or to make wheels round again. As for broken windows, just cover them with clear tape. Groups of 10 cars are allowed to drift at once. Perfecting the first corner is the key to YZ. After that, it's just a left kink before a right hand hairpin. It's a scary entry into turn one, as you have to go very fast to carry speed at the exit. Unfortunately, the exit is a bit tight too. <laughs> As usual, about half of the entries are AE86s, but this four-door R32 is worth a closer look. takes a perfect line through the first corner, but this laurel driver is not so lucky. <laughs> Judging by the smoke, we knew this skyline must have some serious power. Sure enough, the engine has been swapped for an RB25 with a big HKS 3037S turbo kit. Good for an easy 500 horsepower. The interior is stripped out and loaded with extra gauges as usual. After a change of bumpers and tyres, they head out for another practice run. Check this drifter out. It's based on a Nissan Crew, which is usually a taxi in Japan. There's a great atmosphere at the Japanese drift events, as everyone is just there for a good time. You can wander around and check out anything you like. The green R32 was starting to emerge as a favourite during qualifying. So let's take a look at some of the competition runs. It's too dangerous to run battles here, so it's all single car demos.
seem to have picked up the entry speed even further, which is bad news for some. The bumper was already damaged, but now it's really finished. Not the best way to treat an expensive house of colour paint job. Nearly a safe spin, but the bumper just clips the tyres. All the delays made guest judge Taniguchi a bit prone to smart aleck remarks, but even he was impressed by this run. Not surprisingly, the R32 driver was on top of the podium at the end of the day.